I think we got off to a strong start, even though they were actually dominating the game. They had a lot of shots, and I thought Matt Vink got off to a tremendous start and continued <clears throat> for an entire 60 minutes to shut the door. And uh, I think it was a big difference in that game. I think the score should have been a lot closer than they, uh, it actually was. It didn't seem like a 13-6 game to me. It was also a very physical game. I mean, it seemed like somebody was in the box for most of the game. I mean, uh, just talk about what it's like to come up on the right end of this game uh, with all that. Well, we wanted to stay out of the penalty box. We didn't want to get into any penalty situations and give them, you know, four and four or any power plays. So there was a couple situations where we had a power and then we took a stupid penalty and then ended up five on five. Um, and then towards the end of the game, again, we didn't want to get anything stupid and make sure we didn't get anybody suspended for the next game. Do you think that affected the rhythm? There was obviously some clock issues and some discussions about calls. And then it seemed as the game went on, you guys got in a better rhythm. So was it kind of an issue trying to get in a groove, play five on five for a stretch of time? When they took a long time there to uh, settle the situation in the penalty box, it does break up the room for both teams. So, you know, it's, 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 you know, it's, it's not an advantage to one or the other unless one team was on a roll. But... Uh, I was getting anxious to get going there. I was getting impatient. <laughs> Thank God the, the fans didn't leave. But uh, I, I don't think it changed the game. But uh, I think, uh, you know, we we scored our opportunities and our goalie played really well. So. Along those lines, how would you describe your team's performance as a whole tonight? I think it was okay. I think the last two games, as mentioned, were really, really, probably our best two games were a lot, the two previous games. Today I thought we were mediocre. But, you know, we, we found a way to win. And uh, we're built from our goalie out to our offense, and we're deep. And when we're not playing well, you find ways to win, and that's what good teams do. And along that, how much confidence does that give you guys well, going into your next game, knowing that there's still more confidence you can still build upon your game? Well, whenever your goalie's playing well, it gives everybody confidence. It gives them the ability to go ahead and take more risks out there because they know they've got a wall behind them and it's hard to score on them. And, uh, you know, just finding ways to win, is, it's, it's, it's going to give us confidence throughout the playoffs because regardless of the situation, we're going to believe that we're never out of it. Three goals and three shots were started out. How do you get your team together to, to realize that you, they still have a lot of lacrosse left to play? Yeah, I was actually nervous. I, I had a bad feeling. I thought it was going to be the other way around. So I was lucky. We were lucky, and I was fortunate that it was 3-0 for us on three goals. But it's a long game. It's a game of runs, and I think they made it 4-3 there. So they, you know, they made a game of it early. So we didn't really take that that three goal lead to our advantage. Um, they they came prepared. They changed up some things. They pressed a lot more than we were used to. And I thought they played a very strong game. I think the shots were within one. Now a little bit of a waiting game to see who you guys play. Is that going to affect the preparations at all? Because you guys won't know until Monday night. Um, we're going to uh, you know review this game, see what we were doing well and what we didn't do so well, and then uh, probably by Tuesday we start talking about the other team. So it's not a big deal. There was no decision. We only have one guy to put it in, and that was uh, Sweetie. So <laughs> he was our only D guy, and uh, you know he was itching to get in, and I thought he did a really good job, and that just goes to show what kind of depth that we have. And we've won with a lot of different players out of the lineup from offense to defensive guys. So uh, you know he was ready to go. He was itching to go, and uh, I was happy to see him on the floor. Unfortunately, you know OC got hurt, and uh, he, he is okay. So hopefully, he'll be okay for next weekend. Great players usually show up for uh, for big games like this, and it seemed like you got basically your leaders showed up in all phases. So just talk a little about everybody. Yeah, I think Stevie scored a huge goal for us there when everything was a bit flat at the shorthanded goal, and then I think I thought Sean Evans yeah. um, scored some big goals on the power play for us because our power play was flat. So I think if there's one thing we really need to improve on was our power play. We're really flat footed and didn't shoot the ball very well. I think we gave up at least one, if not two, shorthanded goals. So that's the one area that we're going to focus in is our power play. I don't know. He's got a thousand percentage there, so that's pretty good. <laughs> Thanks, guys.